Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreateCrafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these really cute and very festive Dollar Tree Santa cookie charger plates. Try saying that three times fast. I love how these turned out and they will make great early Christmas gifts for any little one. They are so easy to create and only took a few minutes, so let's get started. All right guys, so I'm starting in Design Space. I'm gonna go here to the left and click this Upload button because I uploaded the images that I'm going to be using. So I did a few of these and I used these two over here and it turned out really well because I do have a circle charger plate from the dollar store. So I'm just gonna click on these. I'm actually gonna show you them all. So I'm just gonna click on them all and click Add to Canvas and they're gonna turn out really, really large. So you're gonna have to uh, resize these right away. But because they're such a, they are such big files, it's gonna take just a couple of seconds for them to show up. So here they are, they're a little bit larger than normal. So let's see, I'm gonna move them all around so you guys can see. So I already did this one. And then I did this one. I will tell you, as I'm always truthful to you guys, this was a pain in the butt to weed. I don't know if it was just my vinyl that I had or what. These little dots took me forever to get off of the vinyl. I couldn't, oh my gosh. So yeah, so if you're going to try it, just beware of things like that. And then this one, because these pieces are so small here, I couldn't get them to look like they are. I just left the circle part itself. So it looks good still, but I had an issue with those. Um, the reason I use these two is because they are more in a circle. Um, like I said, I'm using a dollar store charger. So that's just a large plate. So uh, I like to use the circle one. So you can use any of these. And I'll show you really quick where I got them from. I purchased a lot on here for a dollar each. So instead of paying, paying $6, which is the original, then they marked it down to 420. You're only going to pay a dollar. So hit that subscribe button and I will show you guys exactly when these come out. So let's click on the side here and show you kind of how they have it uh, laid out so you can see it. So I don't really like this one. I would have to ungroup it and kind of make it into a circle. So that's why I'm just using these other ones. So I'm going to close out of that. So these are the other ones. I really love these. I think they're so darn cute. But I'm actually going to X out of these ones. And this one is cute and it's kind of like a heart, so maybe that would fit in there. And I'm going to get rid of this one too. I'm just going to work with the easier ones for you guys now. So when I made mine, I resized mine to 7.70 by 6.8. So that's what I'm going to do really quick. So go up here, unlock it, and then the width is going to be 7.70 by 6.8. Just like that. So... I would advise you to check out um, your charger if you're getting them from the dollar store or if you're getting them from Walmart, they might be different sizes. So this is the size that worked for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here. Unlock it, change it to be 7.70 by 6.8. And then this one, since I didn't use this one before, we'll have to kind of see. I'm gonna show you a trick in a minute too. So I'm gonna change the size in this really quick. Okay, so a trick I have really quick is I'm actually gonna bring up a shape. And I'm just going to grab, wow, well, they added to this. I'm not used to this. They added a lot more shapes on here. Holy cow. I have never seen all these before. Normally they just have, you know, four or five or whatever. So I'm going to grab a circle here. And I know the charger plate is an eight by eight. So I'm going to leave that locked, but I'm going to change this to be eight because it'll automatically change the other one to an eight. This is for you to visualize what this is going to look like. So I'm going to put this in here and show you guys. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just in the back. You want to click Arrange, Send to Front. And here is what it looks like. So this, the charger inside is about an 8x8. So you still have the rim out here. So you got to remember that. Um, I'm not sure offhand how big the chargers are. Um, but you just want to make sure it stays within this uh, circle area. So I'm going to move this guy. And we're going to see what this one looks like. So again, it's behind it. You didn't lose it. You just want to click Arrange, Send to Front. And that one's pretty good, too, at that size. I thought because it was more of a heart, it would look kind of silly. Um, but yeah, I like that. But again, I think the issue here is going to be these lines. I'm going to try that out and see what it looks like. I'm going to get rid of the circle here. And I'm just going to cut these out. One last thing I like to do is either attach or weld. I like to weld these together because... When somebody makes a cut, maybe they don't 
attach it here or weld it so you, this Cricut would cut each piece out separately. So I'm going to click that and click weld and then I'll go to the next one and click weld again. What that does is just telling Cricut to cut it out as one whole piece. So like if they didn't attach this, Cricut would see this as leaving this a little slice here on each one of these. So you can change the color if you want on these. I just kept mine white. Um, I did buy red and gold chargers, which I thought re was really cute. So I'm going to go up here to the make it button. And depending on what material you want to use, you're going to want to change it. So I'm going to actually put this on a 12 by 24 and see if, whoops, I can't get all three on. But I'm going to move this down a little bit so it'll save me. Instead, of, I don't buy the sheets of vinyl, I buy the rolls. So I like to get them on as many as I can. So I'm going to click continue. And here's where you got to figure out which material you're going to be using. I don't use a lot of uh, Cricut vinyl. I really don't like it personally. So I use this stencil vinyl um, material here and this works really well for me. And for whatever reason, I don't know if my blade is dull or if it just isn't cutting through properly, I always go to more and that seems to cut it out a lot better. Alright guys, so I finished one and I'm just going to show you what it looks like really quick. Um, it says four Santa, it has the cookies, the milk, and the carrots. It does go on really easy, but this is a dollar store plate, so sometimes you'll get chips or nicks or something on it. So when you do find these plates, you want to really inspect it and find that there's no chips. Like, unfortunately, there's a little chip here. I don't know if it shows up on camera. Um, but again, it's just a dollar store plate. Um, I think you can get them at uh, Walmart as well, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure how much they would be. So here is a file that I cut out. I'm not sure if you're going to see it too well, maybe with the light behind it. That one. Um, it's pretty much the same one as the other one, but this one is white, and this one was like a, a rose gold or a goldish color on here. So what you're going to want to do, actually the first thing you're going to want to do is actually wash your plate, and this is very important. You don't want any finger marks or anything on here, so I'm just taking a little cotton round, and then I take some alcohol and rub it on here, but just, just a little bit, guys. You don't want to take the color off of here. It will take the color off a little bit, but I'm just going very lightly because I can see my finger marks on here. All I'm doing is the center piece because that's where we're going to be putting the file itself, but carefully do it so you don't like rub anything extra off of it. But I will show you, it does take a little bit of the color off, but not to worry. I'm just getting the rest of my fingerprints off that I see on here. So now I'm going to set this aside just for a minute, and then I'm going to take my file, and I'm going to put some transfer tape on it right away. So people often ask me where I get my transfer tape, what kind of transfer tape. This is the transfer tape that I get. I absolutely, absolutely love this stuff. It's from, I believe it's called Fiskars. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below in case you're interested. This definitely goes a long way. I like this better, and I actually do like the ones, I don't like the ones that have the lines on it. I know it's easier to like match up here to get it center, but since my preference, I don't really care for it much. So all I'm gonna do is put some transfer tape on here. Actually, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna do this some other opposite way. That seems to help. So I actually lay my transfer tape out first, and then I carefully lay down my file. This way it just seems for me to uh, not get any air bubbles in it and not get any um, wrinkles in it. So what I do is just cut the excess off. And I'm just going to use my squeegee and rub this on really well. So just take it and basically you just want your file to go on your transfer tape. And then you can get out any bubbles or anything that you might have in here. Oh shoot, one important thing that I forgot to tell you guys, oh boy, I might be in trouble for this myself, is pretty much any transfer tape you use is going to be too strong, and I'm kind of worried about this now. And I mean strong in the way that it will, if your transfer tape is too sticky, it will pull the color of this off. Shoot. Um, learn from my mistake. Make sure that you take a piece of transfer tape. I'm just going to show you the side really quick here. So what you want to do is basically don't think that this is on. So this is my transfer tape, right? What you want to do to get it unsticky is you can put it on your shirt, you can put it on your pants, whatever. Lay it down, pull it up, and then lay it down and pull it up and, you know, keep going for it. Now it won't come up, dang it. <laughs> um, but you just want to get some of the sticky off. So you just want to do this. And some of that stickiness will come off. Or if you have a piece that you've used a few times that would fit, that would work too. But you want to make this less sticky. I think I might be in trouble. We'll see, guys. I'm always honest with you, so if I make a mistake, I will show you. But just, you're supposed to do that before you put the transfer tape or your design on. Because you do not want it that sticky. Because it will pull off 
the color on there. Unfortunately, I've done that once or twice already now, so learn from my mistakes, don't do that. So here's my file, and then I'm just gonna take my round, and I'm gonna be extra, extra careful. I'm gonna put this on here like this, so all you have to do is basically find the center, and then lay it down. And I pray that this is going to turn out without pulling the color up. But if it does come up like that, just put your thumb down. I'd rather the vinyl come up at first so I can push it back down rather than the color. Oh, see, yep, I had shoot. I'll show you guys here. So it did it already. It pulled up the color. So this one is completely done. So if I would just keep pulling, it would just keep going. So. I made a mess on this one. It's okay. It was only a dollar for this and maybe about, you know, 10 cents for um, the vinyl itself. So I'm just going to take another one. I do have a lot more. Take my same um, little cleaner and clean it off. All the little finger marks and all that. But this time, I'm going to actually take my vinyl and put it on the table a few times. And hopefully that will help. This one is a little bit more difficult to do. So now I'm just going to take another piece of transfer tape. Cut it roughly to the size that I need. And then put it on the table and try to get some stickiness out. I know that the dollar store vinyl is less sticky, but I don't have that right now. So what I'm just going to do is just this. This is all I'm doing. Putting it on the table, rubbing it in, and then flipping it and getting the other side. I'm just trying to take some stickiness out of it. So learn with me. I made the mistake before. I think I would have learned, but I didn't. So I'm just going to keep doing this a few more times just to get the stickiness out. And then I will be right back. Alright guys, so that did feel kind of silly doing that, but it definitely is less sticky now. Um, so now I'm going to try again and show you. So I just did it a few times. So now I'm going to take this and put it on, but now I'm not going to scrape as hard. And hope that the vinyl is going to stick to... The transfer tape. Now I'm really going to take my time and get this off. Alright, so since it wasn't as sticky, it was giving me a hard time getting off. So now I'm going to be extra, extra careful, line it up on here. Didn't cut my excess off this time, and just line it up and rub it on carefully, taking your time. You want it to stick on the plate now, but you don't want it to peel up. So it might take a little bit longer again, just because I'm going to take extra time peeling this back. Alright, so as I see, I'm going, um, but I'm not pulling too hard. But it seems to help that if I go back with my scraper and I just scrape a little bit as I'm going, it seems to help a lot more. So that makes sense. I'm just going over the spots where I'm pulling it from, and I haven't had a problem yet. Fingers crossed, guys. I think this one's going to work. My first one worked really well, um, but I did use a different kind of transfer tape. So always just be sure that your transfer tape is not too sticky when you're pulling it on these plates. Almost there, guys. So did not pull anything up yet, um, but because this is permanent vinyl, and because you're going to put food on here, a um, couple of things to note. Uh, do not eat off of this plate. It is vinyl. Do not put it in the dishwasher. It will come off. Um, I mean, obviously you can put cookies or your kids can put cookies on here for Santa and um, carrots on here for uh, the reindeer and a cup of milk, but do not eat off of this. Um, anytime you use vinyl, you should not eat off of it. Whoops, I see one little spot here. So I would recommend let this sit for at least 24 hours to fully adhere and cure. But after that, you should be able to touch this and nothing will move. I would just leave it alone. If you have to go back and you still have fingers on it, just go back with the cotton, you know, cotton ball or anything you have and just go and get the edges like this. But that one worked out really awesome. So I have this one. And then I have this one as well. They're two different designs. Uh, this one was definitely a lot easier to do because these little dots everywhere. But I think that looks absolutely amazing. Do you guys like this video? Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Happy holidays, everyone.